now I need to get this shape to look like this shape so we need to get rid of these polygons and then extrude the rest to create this part let's do it so we go to polygon mode and here I selected these polygons that I will get rid of I press delete now I go to vertex mode I select this row of vertices oops sorry these two rows or three rows of vertices and I scale them oh, oops I need to do it one by one so let me check if we can do it okay we can select it by edge and then control change selection and let's do this we need to flatten this same thing for this one control change selection and flatten the last one this one control change selection and flat we don't need to flatten it much okay so now I need to use the same technique I used for this part to make it look uh, rounded so I go to front to front view press F or maybe uh, not front no back okay now let me open the uh, soft selection and use it okay I think this point right here is suitable it's in the middle this one too this one and this one and let me raise the value of fall off and use the move tool to start moving it use alt to deselect get back to back view again alt ball alt and ball and I think this works fine maybe I need to do the same for this position get back to the back view these two mm, these three okay and I reduce the fall off alt alt okay I do the same right here this one this one too and this one alt drag alt and drag final part this part right here so this one control this one control this one let me push alt drag alt and drag so 
so let's get back to the back view and I need to make this look rounded without the soft selection let me arrange or drag this forward maybe these three and these three needs to get back make sure I'm not selecting anything funny Okay. I can actually activate the ignore back facing so I can use the rectangular selection okay that's much better and again make sure ignore back facing is working and I need only these three yeah get back to back I need to drag this okay fine so now we got this rounded shape maybe we need to uh, do the same for this part right here we need to push these vertices but you got the idea you can continue with this part and now we can start extruding this edge and create this part right here so let's continue this after the next or in the next tutorial